Hey there, this is Chris Abraham with the Chris Cast Season 2, Episode 16. Chris in a Corset. Come back right after the message and I'll tell you what that's all about. <laughs> Good morning, this is Chris Abraham, Chris Cast, Season 2, Episode 16. I just wanted to tell you way too much information about me. Uh, I've been revealing on this podcast that I'm about 350 pounds, and uh, while people tell me I carry it well, which I think is absurd, I also realize that uh, nobody likes looking at uh, at f- at rolls of 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 body on uh someone who's that heavy so i took i've been so i've been buying and wearing uh rowing trow forever because i've got this concept too and i've got uh i've got a membership at um at the uh potomac boat club and so i've been very very familiar with rowing trow and bike shorts And then for whatever reason, I ended up buying uh, what's called a unisuit, which you might find a better comparison to a wrestling uh, singlet or, you know, a wrestling suit, which is basically an integrated uh, pair of bike shorts uh, with a full torso and then um, a tank top kind of straps over your shoulder. So it covers... It, it covers more. It comes up to, I'd say, where a tank top comes up to or goes down to. Um, and so it's like an integrated, stretchy performance tank top with a pair of bike shorts. So forever I bought them from uh, JL Racing, JL Rowing, and then I started buying them from Boathouse.com. And they are my, uh, they're basically... Uh, my, uh, my scuba suit, if you remember, if you've ever seen, um, the movie, uh, what is it called? The one with Rob Lowe, it's called, um, uh, St. Elmo's Fire. There's a scene where I think Rob Lowe and, uh, the blonde girl, who's a little bit, a little bit chubby, um, start making out and, uh, they they proceed to the lovemaking stage and he make is it Rob Lowe? He makes fun of her because she's got on control uh body control underwear. So that's what I wear under everything every day. If you come up to me in person, uh I can show you that I'm probably wearing a rowing uh, unisuit underneath my t-shirt and shorts or t-shirt and jeans or jacket t-shirt and jeans. Uh, There's a 90% chance that I will have a a corset, if you will, on underneath my, a black corset underneath my overthings. Um, the, uh, The unisuit replaces my underwear it replaces my undershirt, and what it does for me is it uh, what it does for me the most, and I like the most about it, is that if I raise my arms over my head, you can't see, and my T-shirt raises, you don't see my belly. That's really it. Um, there's secondary benefits, but my primary benefits are to prevent you from having to see my underbelly my uh the male the the heavy set male version of the under boob so you're welcome so you're welcome um when i uh i'll wear that the whole day and then i will go to spin class and i will pull the um the cycling bib over the rowing trow so now i have two layers um one layer 
is the Unisuit, which is basically um, a, a breathable uh, nylon, uh, you know, it's, it's stretchy. I forgot. It's a performance fabric. Um, and it's, you know, it's very, um, uh, very stretchy and comfortable and breathes just fine. And then I'll have the, the, uh, bib over it with the foam crotch so that when I go to spin or ride my bike, then I have that protection. And when I go slow jogging, if I feel especially, um, self-conscious that I want to kind of feel, uh, reassured, I will pull a second unisuit on over my original unisuit before I go out running to kind of just keep myself together while I'm uh, out there pounding the pavement. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I've replaced all the soap in my apartment with uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid, which I assume uh, it's cheap and it's it smells nice and it doesn't smell perfumey and I can buy tons of it and I can use it um, in the sink, in the sinks, in the uh, kitchen. I can use it um, in the shower, which I do. And I also use it to hand wash my uh, unisuits. Um, recently, I've been only wearing, well, mostly wearing Boathouse because recently, in the last year, uh, jail racing has gotten, has just gotten junk. I mean, they're not as stretchy, they're not as flexible, they don't fit as well, they feel more, uh, they feel more constraining and structured. Uh, they don't feel like they have as much give. Uh, I feel that might be a quality control issue with the Lycra spandex type materials that they use. But now I'm using, um a uh, unisuit from from uh, Boathouse. Um, I have mostly black ones, but I did buy a... I do, I do buy um, Potomac Boat Club red, white, and black uh, unisuits. For, oh, red, white, and blue unisuits uh, when they are being sold by my club. So I have a bunch of dark blue... Uh, red, uh, dark blue shorts, red um, torso, and a white star on the chest, and a PBC uh, lettered on the back. And that's it. I, I Oh, the additional benefits are as follows. Um, it's like having an undershirt on, so it protects my overshirt when I'm sweating uh, out and about. Uh, not unlike having a a tank top underneath or another white t-shirt underneath my black t-shirt or whatever. It, um, it also, uh, prevents against, uh, chub rub. It prevents against, uh, uh, inner thigh, um, rubbing when you, uh, when you run or walk for long distances. And so it prevents that, which I find I haven't had a problem haven't had to use my a &D ointment or any type of powder or anything like that. Um, and because it is stretchy and so forth, it, uh, it, it, you know, it's just generally comfortable. Um, I don't have a problem with underwear riding up or riding down. I don't have any problem with any of that. And then I just, uh, wear it into the shower and wash it in there, take it off, wash it, uh, scrub it. Um, rinse it out and then um, and then hang it up and it's ready for a day or so and I've got a bunch of them so they pretty much uh, replaced uh, the um, Eddie Bauer underwear that I've been using forever the boxer briefs um, the problem yeah you, there's no Y front so you basically have to um, do the whole uh, you know, use your imagination. No, I don't have to go ahead and get completely naked to use the bathroom um, when it comes to that. Um, and a benefit that I really like is if I'm in the park and it's really sunny out and I don't feel like being topless, 
I can just take off my shirt and it's like I have a tank top on so I can tan my shoulders and my uh, upper back and my all of my arms instead of having a farmer tan it I'll have the tan that's similar to a 1920s uh, male beach bather which you know pretty much were singlets in the first place so that's it I think oh uh, let's see Hey, Google, how much does a Boathouse.com unisuit cost? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. <laughs> She's no help. He's no help. It's no help. I think the price is pretty affordable. I think if I go into here and I type uh, Boathouse, comes out as Boatloads. Unisuit, uninsured, unisuit, price. And it is uh, $69. So it's not bad. They last forever. Um, they're completely durable. They uh, don't run. They don't break. Sometimes uh, they will, after hard wearing, you'll see when you hold them up against the light, you'll see that there's areas wearing through. But I have ha I have yet to uh, need to throw one away. And to be honest, the jail racing ones are bomb proof. Those last for 100 years. And um, I have yet to throw one away. Although there are two really old ones that I should throw away. They're just comfy. And because if I'm wearing... Uh, rowing trow, I don't care if they're falling apart um, because really they're not there to go ahead and, and provide any body control out and about. I generally wear rowing trow only for um, concept to rowing. So there's that. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, I'll tell you how to get a hold of me after the interlude. Hey there, welcome back. Sorry for the trauma associated with hearing all that information from me. I hope I hope you laughed. Uh, I don't know if I tried to be funny. But um, I'm Chris Abraham, and you can reach me at Chris Abraham on Twitter, at Chris Abraham on um, comme on dit, uh, Instagram, mm. on Facebook. You can uh, reach me, um, Chris, at Chris at uh, Abraham.su. You can um, find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash Chris Abraham. Um, and my HQ, the place that I try to keep everything together. And I really need to update my site, though, so that it has all of these episodes of the podcast. I just... Don't want that to get in the way of producing these gems, uh, opportunities for you to get to know me, and I hope amuse you, um, at chrisabraham.com um, or abraham.su. Anyway, uh, I will give you another update soon. Um, please let me know what you think, and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.